Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thanks for watching. In this video, I want to talk about one of my favorite features in ServiceNow, and that is the checklist, or if you're an admin, the checklist formatter that you can apply to any record within ServiceNow. So I use this the most in real life on a visual task board. I'm in a demo environment here, so these aren't real tickets, but they are incidents on a visual task board that I can move around between different states and change things. What my favorite feature though is, is the checklist feature. The ability to come in here and add a checklist, this one's using a template where I can check off the different steps that I need to do in order to complete this particular task, in this case an incident. Now notice, it actually shows me a visual indicator on the visual task board card, which is why I love using it from here, of how I'm progressing through that checklist. So I'm on two of three for this particular one. And what's really neat is you can come in here and I'll go ahead and remove the checklist so you can see me creating one live in the demo. We'll just do demo task one, uh, demo task two, and then we'll say maybe a complete for this. So you can create them on the fly and then you can come up here and save them as a template. So I could say this is a demo template and then I can even specify if it's going to be for a specific group or not. If I wanted to just share this with all the analysts or architects or super awesome cool people that use ServiceNow. Hit save and now whenever I come back in here, we'll remove this checklist again. I will have my incident basic that I have ready before the demo in my demo template that I can apply to this particular checklist. That's it, a really simple feature, but man, it saves me so much time and visually helps me see where I am when I'm glancing at my task board and seeing what I've got to do for the day. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. And until next time, don't forget to always be learning.